Hi everybody, it's Kelly Hammond at Making You Turns. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about a serious topic, and that's called the spiral of silence. Now, the spiral of silence, we've seen it in history a number of times, and I'm going to share with you two case studies. They weren't supposed to be case studies, but they happened in real life, where we can actually study them and see what happened. And a spiral of silence, let me read to you what Wikipedia, the definition of that is, and it's a great definition. The spiral of science, silence theory is a political science and mass communication theory purposed by the German political scientist Elizabeth Newman, which stipulates that individuals have a fear of isolation which results from the idea that a social group or the society in general might isolate, neglect, or exclude members due to the members' opinions. This fear of isolation consequently leads to remaining silent instead of voicing opinions. So where has this happened? I'm sure you've seen it in, in your own life or in other people's life. Uh, so case study. Back in the 1960s, there was a woman who was in New York City, um, broad daylight, being raped, and there were apartments all over. People looked out, saw it, but didn't say anything. Why? The spiral of silence. And then a huge, huge historical one that we all know about is the Holocaust. And the Holocaust, again, there were many people that knew about what was happening and yet stayed silent. Why? And it's called the spiral of silence. Is when we're afraid to speak up because we're afraid that somebody else, a community member, a, an organization, a group will be a will will map, mock us or keep us from their group. Um, another example of the spiral of silence was in my own family. <laughs> in my own family, there was a child abuser, and um, my mother broke the silence, uh, the, the spiral of silence in the family. And because she did, she was excluded from the family. And in fact, when she called one of the family members one time to wish them a happy Christmas or happy birthday, they said, um, they said her name and said, oh, we don't know anybody that by that name. So they disowned her. Um, but they, she knew about the child molestation and abuse. She reported it to child, uh, the correct authorities. The family was investigated and um, they had foster children. The foster children were taken immediately out of the home. And so again, Let's talk honestly. If you know of somebody being abused in your family, outside of your family, break the silence. Uh, we need to have voices that speak for those that are not, don't have voices. Children, disabled, elderly, uh, women, men, it doesn't matter who they are. We need to be the voices. If we see something wrong, we need to speak up and, and stop that spiral of silence. We need to speak up and be that voice for those people. So thank you so much for tuning in to discuss the spiral of silence and let us, you and I, stop it. Uh, stop that trend and be the one that speaks up and be the one that's brave and courageous for others that can't speak up. So thank you again for tuning in to Making U-Turns. Please subscribe down below. And if you have comments, please put them down. And uh, thank you again for tuning in, Making U-Turns. Bye.